a keyboard, a computer keyboard, that you can throw mustard on, throw ketchup on, spill ranch on, spill a coffee on, pour an entire can of soda on it, and just wash it off, and it'll still work fine. Stay tuned for this video. Have you ever spilt mustard, ketchup, or even ranch dressing on your computer keyboard and wondered what would happen? But not with the Logitech K310 washable keyboard. You could literally pour ketchup on it. You can pour mustard on it. You can pour ranch dressing all over every single key. You can even take an entire can of your favorite soda and spill it all over the keyboard and then just wash it off and make it as good as new once again. If you're a person that loves to eat on their desk while using the keyboard and occasionally might spill food on the keyboard, might spill soda on the keyboard, might even drip coffee or any other condiment on the keyboard and thinking that it's time to just toss it away and purchase a new one, well then I have an amazing new product just for you. A normal consumer would think that it would be time to throw the keyboard in the trash can and go and purchase another one. A keyboard that can be fully submerged in a bathtub of water. You could even throw it in a pool and it would come out dripping wet, but after drying work perfectly fine. Throw it, submerge it in a complete full tub of water. Take a can of brand new wild cherry Pepsi and pour it and spill it all over the keyboard. It won't make a difference. Whatever you throw at the Logitech K310 keyboard, you can bet your ass it'll catch it. After you go ahead and get it dirty with tons of food or tons of liquids, all you have to do then is just take it to any sink inside of your house, inside or outside, and just wash it off, scrub it with your hands, or use the small brush that's included on the back of the unit. You could even use a bigger bristle brush to scrub the keyboard to make sure that you get every piece of food and debris off the keyboard and out of the keys. Then when you're done actually washing the keyboard, just take a cloth, paper towel, or some other sort of a thing that'll dry it, and just wipe it off, set it down, and let it dry. Once it's dry, take it back to your computer and plug it right back in to your USB port and start typing again like nothing ever happened on a brand new, fully washed computer keyboard. Billy Mays here with another excite- Nah, it's not Billy Mays, it's me, the assist man. Even though I do think that Billy Mays was like the all-time seller of things. If you guys don't know who Billy Mays is, man, look him up on YouTube. He was this guy that did infomercials, man. And this guy had just the greatest personality for selling stuff and infomercials. And God rest his soul, his soul man. Rest in peace. Billy Mays is no longer with us anymore, but he was an amazing person to watch. And uh, I used to love his personality. But I'm bringing you guys, as you can see from the beginning of the video, another fantastic product review. And this is not an unboxing. It's just a review of a product that I think is completely amazing as you've seen by the intro video. And what is that product? It is this right here, the Logitech K310 USB computer keyboard. You know, if you're a fat blob like me, and you're constantly on your computer because you're working or you're doing stuff on the computer and you don't leave the computer that often, like me, and you love to eat, like me, occasionally, you're gonna be eating, you know, a burger or some chicken or whatever it is and you're probably going to spill some food or some ketchup or some mustard or some soda or some water or whatever on your keyboard. Most of the time when you do that, you have to pretty much throw your keyboard in the trash because you kind of can't get it wet because you're going to short it out. As you guys seen in the beginning of the, excuse me, as you guys seen in the beginning of the video where I actually 
sprayed a whole bunch of mustard on the keyboard, a ton of ketchup, a ton of ranch. I even was eating chicken marsala and I dumped chicken marsala with mushrooms, mashed potatoes and gravy on the keyboard. I had all that stuff on the keyboard at once. I threw the keyboard, submerged it in a tub, in a bathtub of water, and I even poured an entire can of wild cherry Pepsi on it. Entire can of wild cherry Pepsi, submerged it in water, throw it in a pool, run it under the sink, put ketchup, mustard, ranch, salt, pepper, vinegar, oil, whatever the fuck you want to put on it, put it on this keyboard, and all you have to do is wash it off, like I showed you guys in the video. This is probably one of the greatest investments you can make because beforehand, before I actually owned this keyboard, I used to buy keyboards all the time, you know. I would never spend a lot of money on a keyboard, you know. I wouldn't be buying crazy mechanical or crazy game board, uh, gaming keyboards. I would just buy everyday self-productivity keyboards for me to use. And on, on average, I would spend about $30, $40 on a keyboard. Well, then when I seen this keyboard and it says it was fully washable and everything, I'm like, man, I have to try that because the main reason that I always bought new keyboards is because I would spill food and sodas and waters and all kinds of stuff on my keyboard and break them. So I bought this keyboard. What I can tell you guys is I've actually owned this Logitech K310 keyboard for over two years. I have washed this keyboard over 20 times. I have spilled food on it, not as miraculous as the test, the stress test that I did in the beginning of this video, but I've spilled food and stuff on this thing so many times. Ketchup, mustard, bottles of water, coffee, I knocked over iced tea on it, and all you have to do, oh, excuse me, the phone is ringing. All you have to do is go ahead and wash it, as I showed you guys in the video. So if you like to eat on your keyboard, if you've spilled stuff on a keyboard before and you had to replace it, why not go out and buy the Logitech K310 keyboard? It is a little bit more expensive. I think the time I purchased it, it was like 70 bucks or something like that. I don't know how much it, you know, it, it uh, sells for right now, but I'll look it up on Amazon for you guys or Best Buy, and I'll leave a link to the... Um, to the keyboard in the in the description of this video. I think it's around anywhere from 60 to $80 for this keyboard. And I'm sure you can find it cheaper sometimes. So I'll try to search for the best place, best price for it right now and leave that description inside of the description or leave that information inside of the description of this video. But you see how simple it was. No matter what you get on this keyboard, no matter what you get at all, all you have to do is wash it off. And then after you wash it off, scrub it up with the brush that's included with it on the back or even use the big brush with the big bristles like I did. And then, just let it dry. Let it dry for about 30 to 45 minutes, maybe even faster depending on where you live and how hot it is. If you want, shoot it out with a little bit of canned air. After you let it dry, take it back to your desk, unclip the protective cap from the USB top because you don't want to get that wet. Put it back in like you see me do, plug it back into your computer and then boom, everything works fine on the keyboard again. I threw pretty much everything I could throw at this keyboard. You've seen it in the video. So if you've ever been in the market for a new computer keyboard, and you like, and this has a 10 keypad as well. 10 keypad is not mechanical, so it doesn't have like cherry MX switches or anything like that, but it has a good sound to it. You know, if you like that kind of thing. It doesn't have cherry MX switches. It's not mechanical, but it does have a 10 keypad. It is washable, spill proof, waterproof, throw it in the pool, wash it off, whatever you want to do to it. Then I would highly recommend that you buy the Logitech K310. You know, when I do reviews on things, a lot of times, or actually all the times when I do reviews, even if I do unboxings, I like to actually test and use the product that I'm reviewing for at least 100 hours. There was a song playing in the background. I must have hit something on my iTunes. But I like to review the products that I'm testing for at least 100 hours. So I'll do, I'll film like the unboxing and stuff like that. And then I'll come back and I'll film, I'll put the same kind of like clothes on again so it looks the same. And then I'll film my review of it after utilizing and using the product for about 100 hours or more. Well, see I didn't have to do an unboxing of this because like I said, I've owned this keyboard for over two years and it has performed flawlessly for me. And I've washed it so many times, I've got so much stuff on it and it still works all the time. So like I said, if you're a fat blob like me and you're on your computer constantly and your keyboard is always getting dirty from fingerprints and shit on your fingers or you're spilling coffee, spilling water, pouring food on your keyboard, instead of going out and buying a new keyboard and having it ruined, just buy this keyboard. It'll probably last you for a lifetime until it actually breaks or dies. But like I said, I've washed the thing like 20 times, submerged it in water like 20 times. Never had an issue with it. It's worked perfect since day one. So, I hope you guys... <coughs> I'm getting sick, man. Let me take a sip of this Arizona green tea with the ginseng and honey. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. One thing about my reviews that I do, I always pay for the products out of my own pocket. 
I don't get sponsored. I don't get partnered from companies. Companies do not send me products. And if they did, I specifically state that this product was sent to me by a company in the beginning of this video. That's only happened one time. I only had one time that I reviewed anything that a company actually sent it to me for free, and that was the Parrot Mini Drone that I reviewed on my channel, the Jumping Sumo. They sent that to me for free, and I reviewed it. Um, but anything else that I review, I always buy it out of my own pocket. I always buy it with my own money. So you're getting an unbiased, honest review of the product. And if it sucks, I tell you, and if it's good, I tell you. This keyboard, it's good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. And if you did, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up like button. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and tell your friends about me, man, so they can watch my videos, they can subscribe to my channel, and then you can help a brother out. So anyway, YouTube, this is the Assist Man, and until next time, I am out.